Good morning. It is Tuesday, November 14th. I am very late on my morning run. It's almost 10 to 7 and I've just started out, so I cannot talk to you forever this time. Um, apparently, I have not been sleeping well because I was nervous about jury duty and I got dismissed from the jury yesterday, so I slept a lot better this, tonight, uh, or last night rather. So, whoops. Didn't get out of bed until like 6.40 and then had to help the girls get ready a little bit and all that. But I'm off the jury case. It was a big one. I didn't know it at the time, but it was kind of decently publicized. So glad I got off the case because it was a pretty um, violent case. So that was not great. I sat in the courtroom all day, never called my name, anything like that. So, I mean, it was very boring to sit in the courtroom. And I did find out that a couple people tried to bring their knitting needles into the courthouse and they got confiscated and held at the desk for the day. But I brought my crochet hook in and that was no problem. So I guess if you're in Santa Clara County, um, you should, you want to bring your craft in, crochet is the way to go. Cause I heard that, I heard from two different people that their knitting needles got um, taken and held. They got them back at the end of the day, but yes. So that would be such a bummer. But yeah, uh, let's see. I am back at work today. I have a chiropractor appointment this afternoon. Pretty straightforward, regular teaching day. Um, I'm glad to, I um, sent a message to all my students that I'm back and surprisingly they're excited. I think they really just didn't want to have to deal with like a sub and scrambling and all of that stuff when it just wasn't what you, it's just like, it's a lot of effort on everybody's part. So we'll see, we'll see how they feel. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Let's do our knitting update. I've not worked on the MCAL. Um, what else have I done? Oh, so I frogged my entire grannies in a row, but I used the majority of my time in court today, yesterday, to catch back up. So I am caught back up, mostly from where I was before. And then because Chaley was working and traveling all day yesterday, she didn't do any of hers. So I'm basically in the same spot she is. So I managed to catch back up, which is pretty great. I have, that was the only thing I worked on all day. So that's my only update. I am liking it much better. There's like a million ends. I actually think there is 48 ends because there were 12 granny squares total. 24 colors, two colors per granny square, and each thing has two ends. Yep, two 48 ends. So that was kind of terrible, but I got that done. I, yesterday's vlog was like 40 minutes long because Che and I lumped in a podcast with it, and we have some more to say when there's both of us talking. So I also have edited our labor 11 of Nick Killies but that doesn't go up to labor 10 and labor 10 is our grannies in a row. So you have to wait on that one. Um, and then I think my sister, hopefully she did stole yarn from my stash. Cause I think this was our last, she girls had like so many chances to steal my stuff. And I think she forgets. So I didn't take a look at my stash today, but before she came, I quickly pulled out the stuff that I knew I wanted to knit with. So she would know she couldn't steal it. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think it's going to be, oh, we're starting our to teach crocheting for the yarn bombing unit for all of my tech theater class. And then my friend's um, crafts class. We had to do like a kind of a punt day yesterday because um, I wasn't there. And then tomorrow we'll also have to do a punt day because there is voter registration in the theater where we used to put our classes. But that's okay. It'll be all right. Um, I think that's everything. I'm going to go for a sh very short 10 minute run. I'm not gonna do another sprint. I'm just gonna jog along, hopefully not piss off my incision, then get ready to go back to work, not on jury duty. See you later. Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 15th, and 
I got no vlog footage yesterday at all. Um, it was just a super busy day at work and I went to the chiropractor and then I didn't, all I wanted to work on is my Grammys in a row, but like a uh, sock pattern. So because I wanted to work on that, I took footage of it, but all that footage is used for our Knit Achilles challenge. So it's not part of the vlog. So I'm like, well, this is awkward. I went from having like a 40 minute vlog two days ago to barely scraping by with a seven minute one and a morning check-in and that's about it. So the tricky part for both of those things is the only two projects that I'm really working on right now, one is the grannies in a row and the other one, sorry, it's garbage pickup day. And the other one is the test knit that I'm not sure if it's a secret or not, so I'm not gonna show it. So those are my two progress ones, so that's not going so great. Um, but that's okay. I am kind of in a better place in terms of my making. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling better because I only actually have two more deadlines left for making socks or making test knits. I have my secret test knit, which I'm almost done with, which I just need to do, but I want to do these grannies in a row instead because self-striping yarn is very addicting, I have noticed. Um, and then I have another sweater test knit that I have not even started yet, but it's not due till March. I decided on not doing another test knit, um, mainly because the designer doesn't answer. Like people post questions on the, it's a mighty networks slide and she just doesn't answer them. So I'm like, maybe we're not doing that. So this has happened to us once before where we tested a pattern and this time we finished it and this pattern had like serious issues. Um, and then the designer just went ghost, like deleted his social media, never pulled all his patterns from Ravelry, just went away. And we're like, uh, what? Um, so this designer, this one that I'm supposed to be testing for, it hasn't done that. But I'm like, ah, this is not good. This is not, a, this is not a good testing. Serious. I will have to say though, I forgot to tell you, um, Amanda of Lovely by Lee reached back out to me about, um, my struggles, the Daisy Dream Bomber and was perfectly lovely. I guess that's why she's called Lovely by Lee. She was so sweet, so kind, so compassionate. She's updated, I think her pattern for like the third time to try and help, um, it be more accessible for me. So she was amazing. And yes, she was amazing. Go check out her pattern. Her stuff is really cute. Like that's the entire reason I tested it in the first place was it's so cute. Her style is so cute and so versatile. I'm excited to wear, I have to get block it. That's why I haven't worn it yet. I'm excited to wear my Daisy Dream Bomber. And I mean, I encourage you to go check out her stuff. I mean, my visual disability is a very specific one that is not super common either. It's, um, yeah, it's not a super common visual disability. So, so if you don't have one, check out her work. It was, she was lovely, a lovely person. And her work is really cute. Um, so there's that. I just haven't blocked it, that's all. Because I don't like to block in the winter because uh, it takes too long to dry. So I'm just kind of lazy about it. Let's see. Oh, my sister stole something. From my knit killy for my stash for knit killies, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And here's the thing: if it is what I think it is, it's not mine. <laughs> it's Daniel's. <laughs> so I'm like, uh oh. But it'll be okay. He hasn't used it in like a million years, and I'm supposed to like knit socks with him for him on it or a hat or something. So even if she uses some of it, it's gonna be fine. Um, so I was like. At least, or I've lost it, which is worse, because then I've lost the yarn that I was supposed to knit something for him. But it's perfectly fine. Either way. I think that's everything. I'm out pretty late again, because I slept in more um, than I usually do, or had been doing, because I was so nervous about jury duty. But I've been released from the jury duties for a whole year. But, yeah, that's about it. Can't believe it's middle of November already. 
So I will see y'all later.